Welcome back to Dave the Diver. So we have entered the glacial area. Wow, it's really warm. It's completely different than before. Well, time to really explore the area. Alright. So let's uh, yeah, really explore this place. Damn, to think that there are like fish like this here, under here. Yeah, let's see if we can find a structure or something. Hello? A shovel. Oh my days. I mean, the shovel... Holy moly, what's that? Oh dear. Oh dear, my word, the maneuverability on this guy, my word. God damn it. There we go. Yikes. What kind of shark is this? Poor, uh, poor beagle shark. What? Is that right? Poor beagle shark? Let's uh, top up our ammo. And get some O2 and continue on. Yeah, like, uh, I, I wasn't, um... I didn't think to, to sharks. Well, I suppose sharks probably do go down this to this depth, but I, I certainly thought they were more like on the shallow end. Oh, oh god, that the mantas the gray again. Yeah, there you go. Run away, buddy. Run away. Hang on, here he comes. I'm gonna switch to the harpoon now. There we go. A skate. That's what it is. A starry skate. What? We can't... I thought I could dig this stuff. The mining level of the equipment is lower than that of the mineral. Ugh, okay, so... We... Oh, so we just need to up upgrade the knife, it looks like. That is okay. And yeah, as we're learning, things down here want to kill us. God damn it, poisonous octopus. Antarctic octopus, okay. Yeah, we've really got to make use of them. Um, of our ammo here and not be stingy with it at all and look at that we've already used up like half our carrying capacity so yeah let's keep it going are we gonna find the source of all of these tremors that's what I'm wondering yikes and we're approaching some deep deep depths here wait I feel some heat coming up I can't go down further now. I can't? Why not? Well, actually, let's take a look this way. So we can't go lower, that, that's okay, but... What about in this direction? What the hell? It's a narwhal! Are they friendly? Or... And look at that impressive jellyfish. Okay, so we... Oh, uh, what was this name? Lion Mane or something? Anyway, it's a giant jellyfish in the glacial area. It must make a nice photo. Let's take a pic. Okay. Uh, let's zoom in. Oh, come on. Uh, camera focus... Okay, it wasn't in focus. There we go. Even got the... Even got the narwhal. Nice. That was a good shot. Oh god, it's coming here. Dave, get out the way. Get out the way. Okay. Yo, boy, you scared me. Even in such a cold place, there is still something for such a big creature to eat. 
The deep sea really is a mysterious place. Indeed it is, Dave. Indeed it is. Wait, something big I just saw towards the uh, right. Frozen cod. <laughs> That's a weapon. That's great. Let's get some of that sweet air. And southern bulk help. Alright, can we go up here? Got more ammo. And a stone? What's this? Oh! Okay. Is this like a... A kind of... Oh, we can return... The, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. That's gonna be useful. Now we know that. That is gonna be useful. Mm, let's keep exploring. You know, I really should uh, try and catch some of these smaller fish, shouldn't I? Haddock. Okay. Alright, that's stone. It looks like we can break some... maybe break that ice? Let's see. No, I guess not. I guess not. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Nothing there. Ow. Okay, watch out for the sharp stuff. Yeah, let's check around here. This is a... Uh... Okay, you know what? Maybe I should have gotten that shovel. There are a lot of minerals here that I realize I can't get. Because my knife is of too low level. There's a lot of nice stuff here, for sure. Let's get the miso. Very nice structure. Let's keep it. Let's check up top here. Uh, weapon dart. Enhanced weapon dart. We don't care about weapon darts, do we? No. Nope. Alright, get some of that O2. Black pepper. All right, let's check towards the right now. see what is over here. What is that? Like a... Are these like the roots of the tree? Get some O2. Okay, oh, so it's a, it's not a stone, is it? It's a, one of the, the mirrors, isn't it? So that's cool, so we can use those mirrors to return. Oh, sweet jeez. What is that? Yikes. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go.
Uh, what is this? Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have the... The sub. Collect this, thank you. Okay, we've got an aggressive lot now, whale. You're very bad now, whale. That's what you get. Alright guys, I, I want you to know, I didn't plan on killing any protected species, but that's just what happened. Hmm, a door? And there is a stone slab with text in front of the door. I should take a picture of it and ask Dr. Bacon to decipher. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, actually got it first try, well done. This picture is good enough. Let me go up and show it to Dr. Bacon. Okay. Well, yeah, what do you guys think will become of this strange door? Do you think Dr. Bacon can decipher it? Figure out what it means? Let's see. But for now, let us return to the surface. I think we've done well. Let's go to, let's go to the sea people first. We've got a little mission to finish up here quickly. With Mimi. Long time no see, Dave. I wanted to tell you that I am back in the restaurant business, but couldn't find your number. Ho ho. The famous local dish of the village, Mimi's... Uh, Mim Mima's seaweed dumplings. The duck dumpling skin is tight enough to maintain its form even in water. You should try some. How am I supposed to eat it underwater? Ha, why don't you try one now? I will make you a special version. I'm always down for delicious food. Okay, let's try the dumplings. Okay. Increases the base damage of a harpoon gun by 10%. Oh, sweet. Well done. Go on, Mima. Alright. Wow, it's really delicious. I feel like I'm energized. Oh, it's not just a feeling, it actually energizes you. Each dumpling contains different stuffings, so take your pick. Oh, the effect of seaweed dumplings dissipates when you leave the water, so visit me whenever you need the effect. See you around, Dave. Alright, well done. I uh, can be ordered twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Dumplings give you a special effect that will last until you leave the water. See what the, the that effect is in the pause screen. Okay. Okay, cool. That is not bad. But now we need to speak with uh, Dua, the sea person. Oh yeah, we still haven't found that little kid, have we? Hmm, well, I, I don't actually know where to look for him, to be honest. Yeah, I haven't, for I haven't forgotten about you guys, don't worry. I just don't know how to help you guys. Uh, okay, in here. Hmm. Yes? Hmm. I'm feeling a bit better after eating the coral porridge. By chance, I was wondering if you could gather minerals for me. Minerals? What kind? It looks like this. I need quite a bit. So are you okay with that? Uh, this is opal. So that's what humans call it. It's a mineral that's often used by sea people to make weapons. Hmm, okay. I think I've seen some in the deep sea. I'd rather ask for weapon materials after Duo is fully recovered. Okay, so we got to get Duo fully recovered. We do have some opal, that's cool. But yeah, we need some more. And he said there are some in the deep sea, did he? Well then, while we're here, let's go take a look for some. 
Oh, this must be the sign of the underwater lake that the sea people children were talking about. Uh, you said Maro hasn't returned yet? Maybe I'll follow the sign. Uh, yeah, let's follow the sign. No doubt to some crazy tough monster that just wants to kill us and eat us. Because you know how that goes, right? That is exactly how that tends to go. Uh, let's just top up on that. The, this is the door to the underwater lake? The crumbled rocks are blocking the way. Looks like we need a pickaxe. Thankfully, I have one. Try using this. Yeah, okay, thankfully we picked our up. Great, all the rocks are gone now. Looks like the door crumbled because of the earthquake. Let's go inside and find Maro. Oh boy, this is not going to be fun. Yeah, let's be real careful. And try not to get stung. We'll try and find Maro. Wow, this must be the underwater lake. To see a lake under the sea, it really is amazing. Maybe I should take a photo. By that he means, yeah, he should definitely take a photo. Alright, so maybe zoom out or something? Uh, avoid the fog. How do we avoid the fog? There we go. Okay, here we go. Big monster time. What was that sound? Go to the sound. I mean, yeah, that's exactly how we do things, isn't it? We go toward it. Because that's the type of guy Dave is. Oh, God. Oh, human, you came to rescue me. I'm here to rescue you, but what is this monster? I was just here to take a look at the lake. That's when... Goblin shock. Oh, yikes. Ah, uh, this is a problem. Looks like I have to find a way. Tell me my guns work, right? Whoa. Uh, sniper rifle, nope. Holy moly. Oh god, what's that? Man, how do we do this? Holy moly, come on. Here we go. Oh boy. Thank goodness we upgraded our gun. Thank goodness. Now we're going to be massively overburdened. That's fine. Oh, actually, but not too much, actually. So that's not too bad. Whew, barely defeated it. Oh, thank you, human. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Well, I wanted to see the underwater lake. Get a load of this kid. Anyway, let's go back to the village. Maro, I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? 
Was there really a lake in the water? I took a photo. Do you want to see it? Wow, it's amazing. Wow. I know you are disappointed, but uh, be, dis be satisfied with the photo. There were dangerous monsters there. Okay. Anyway, thank you for saving me. I won't leave the village now. Ah, oh, well done, Dave. Curious child, a good deed done. Now, we are massively overburdened. And, unfortunately, I couldn't find the, uh... Um, what was it that duo needed? The mineral. Uh, no, that's not what we want. But I think it's going to be time for us to head back up. So let's return to the boat. See what Dr. Bacon has to say. Dr. Bacon, could you take a look at this picture? Oh, an ancient stone slab of the sea people. But it is very old and poorly weathered. No matter, should be enough to run the decoding equipment with. Can you hold that picture for a moment? Okay, so decipher R2. Is this what we're doing? I see, okay. So we're just going over the... That's like this here? Okay, 42% decoded, that's good. Alright, nearly... Nearly there. Oh man, this is very good stuff. 73, 74. Come on, gotta get that last 3%. Down to the side. Ninety-nine, come on. Looks like we have to decode every single bit of it. Like absolutely everything. Come on, that's it. That's not it. What did we miss? There we go. Good, I can read them. How lucky. Wow, oh, what a relief. What does it read? It seems to be some sort of spell? The letters are unfamiliar to me. So it is hard to decipher them clearly. Why don't you ask the sea people? I mean, why didn't we do that in the first place? There must be someone who has knowledge of crypt cryptography or spells. I mean, that seems like a reasonable idea, right? An ancient spell that even Dr. Bacon cannot decipher? Hmm. I remember seeing many old books in the sea people temple. Naomi might be of help. And we got some good. We got a good haul on that last trip. Udo. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Wow, a giant jellyfish. The tentacles look like a lion's mane. Did you hear something growling? Ah, just kidding. You can hear anything. You can't hear anything underwater. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Oh, well done. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. Oh, well done. All right, let's go show Naomi the picture. And uh, no, nothing else. So yeah, straight back. Uh, hang on, actually, let's uh, check the farm. You know how it is. Okay. Are these weeds. Hmm. Okay, I still wanna... I'm gonna leave this thing just for another turn. Just to make sure I fully... understand how, how it works. Just, I just wanna get the nutrient level up a bit. Okay. Time to investigate the stone slab. Okay, and Niyama would be in the temple.
and that is over this way. So yeah, let's see what she has to say about this. Hopefully she can decipher it. Let's see. Huh? Suwam? What are you doing here? Are you reading a book? Huh? Are you surprised? My keen analytic abilities come from the books I read. Oh, long time no see, human. I was sorting books. How can I help you? Can you take a look at this picture? It looks like an ancient spell, but I can't understand what it means. Hmm... I can roughly understand it. Where was the stone slab located? In front of a large closed door in the glacial area. I see. According to the book, there are three large doors in the glacial area. And inside those doors is a switch that will lead to the Divine Tree Control Room. I did an analysis and found that the earthquakes are caused by the Divine Tree, Divine Tree Control Room. Activate all the switches and you will be able to access the Divine Tree Control Room. That's not going to be easy. How am I supposed to open the big door? I have materials referred to the, referring to the door. Let me see. Here it is. You need to cast a spell to open the door. Um, but I don't speak the language of the Sea People. Ah, oh, of course not. Then... Why don't you bring Suam with you then? Uh, Suam, you say? Human, you can do nothing without me. Haha. -ha. Well, it looks like you're in trouble. I will give you a hand this time. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Best of luck to you, Suam. May King Long's protection be with you. Stop worrying about me. Just lead the way, human. Alright, I mean, what could go wrong, right? If we got Suam with us? So we're back here. Hmm, this must be the door. Well, I am supposed to cast the spell Niamo taught me. Watch and learn, human. <laughs> Is he walking the dog like an Egyptian? <laughs> That's... I love his dance. That was great. Wow, the door really opened. I am impressed, Suam. Haha, <laughs> now you realize my greatness. You said it was a spell, and how had... Uh, and you had to dance as well to open it? Oh, that is... I needed to dance to keep up... to keep with the beat. <laughs> Got it. Shall we get inside and check out the place, Suam? Um, my waist hurts from the dance. Unfortunately, you will have to go alone today, human. Oh dear. Oh dear. I mean, we expected this much, didn't we? Tranquilizer bomb launcher, holy moly. But that's not what we want. We want... Ideally an upgrade to the gun. A shovel. Let's take the shovel. I mean, why not? Hopefully it'll be useful in this next area. Otherwise, I've just brought a shovel for no reason. There must be a switch to operate the Divine Tree control room inside. My gut feeling is this passage will cause me trouble, but I have no other choice. I need to be careful. Alright, let's look. A piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. I can... I think I can start it by myself. Alright, how are we going to do this, Dave? Oh, the equipment is working, and the stakes started moving. I must avoid them. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, now this is going to be the tough bit. Holy moly. Okay, that's a good start. The passage down here is blocked by ice. I should do something with this rotating equipment. Okay, what can we do? Okay, not that. Let's do some rotating. Oh, okay, so that's gonna bring that down that way, down that way, and then... Hmm, we need to keep it going again, don't we? Let's try it again. 
No. One more time. Alright, that's encouraging. So it's going to come down this way. And then what? Then we move this here. Yeah, I think that's it. It's going to come down there, come down there, and then crash through there. That's what we want. Let's do it. That's right. That's right. That is right. Bob's your uncle. Let's go. Good. The ice is broken. Time to go down. I mean, are we good? We are good, people. Come on. Let's put a jade plate. And let's get some air. And let's carry on. I think I'm going to have to upgrade my suit next. To, uh, to get to these lower depths. To get to the sub-500 meter range. Alright, I should be able to mine this stuff now, right? What, you're telling me I can't get this? What the hell? I've even got the friggin' axe for it. Arctic Telescope Fish, hello. Okay, get some of that kelp. Now, where am I going here? Get some of that jade marble, hello. Oh, another room? This is the statue of King Long, but it looks somewhat strange. His pose is slightly different from that of King Long depicted in the mural. Maybe it means... Yeah, I think you know what it means. So maybe we need to move these things. Like that. And this is gonna move... This is probably gonna move the torso. Let's move the arm. No, let's try this. Uh, no, 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 that, that's not right. I mean, that, that, yeah, that looks about, oh no, oh, okay, the, this one here, we need to twist. Of course, can't forget the head. He has to be looking in the right direction, doesn't he? And then this here, up one more, I think. Oh, there we go. Damn, you gotta get the exact angle on that. But we did it. Wow, is this really the ancient sea people's technology? Impressive. I hear some noise from afar. That must be the first contraption Nyamo told me about. Oh. Are the eyes gonna light up and like melt the... The path up is open now. Let me return to the village and tell Tenzin about this. And I am hungry. Okay, well done. That's a good start. God damn, look at this, huh? We, uh... Come here with good intentions. We help out, make a difference. Like, I mean, are we, are we good or what? And of course, uh, 
Suam has long since gone. the octopus. Oh, should we get the shark? Close one. Back to the Sea People Village. Okay. Yeah, Tenzin's gonna be chuffed with us. Like, we're gonna be telling him stuff that, uh, you know, his ancestors like looked at and got into. So this is going to be impressive. Hmm, Yamo told me the story. The Divine Tree control room is malfunctioning and that is causing earthquakes, yes? Yes, I need to operate three switches to enter the control room. I already activated one of them. Well done. I am ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this manner. Please don't be. The earthquakes are a problem for us too. I remember something. It was written in one of the ancient books. After some workers mutated into Gadons due to engineer uh, Dash's schemes, my ancestors created switches to access the control room and scattered them in the glacial area. They created those switches to tighten the security, but they have turned into obstacles now denying access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. Maybe the control room is overheating, causing the water temperature to rise. Stabilize the device, and the water temperature will return to normal. I know it's rather impolite of me, but please hurry, before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. There are two doors remaining. I will try locating them. Sweet. So we... Okay, well, for the time being, I believe... Oh? You haven't found it yet? Where did you search? I searched the whole village, but no luck. Huh? What's going on, Ramo? Oh, Dave. Mm, I think the beluga has suddenly gone missing. If he is not in the village, he could have gone to the other side of the glacier passage through the open door. He's a very curious kind, you know. You didn't hide him, did you, human? Why would I? Alright, I will let you know if I find him. Thanks. Now, Wang, Awang. What are you doing? Go find the beluga! Yeah, you two. Alright, another mission. M missing beluga. My days. Uh, so wait, would that be... That, that would be in the, in the depths, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Hmm, alright, well, um... Let's consider looking for that. But guys, we'll take a quick break here. When we get back, I believe it's going to be time to find the missing beluga. See how that goes. But um, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Dave the Diver. Take care. <laughs>